Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. People of God, wherever you're watching me from, I welcome you to the Betches blog. We always give you good news, everything good news, gospel, everything good on this channel. So today I bring you good news. You remember this lady? The very lady I posted a few months ago that a video went viral. I have good news for you. She actually used the money the Nigerians gave her. She used it to pick up the house. She used it for she used it for an apartment in Igodo. Bought a house in Igodo and she's now a landlady as I will call it, right? So I'll just give you a summary about uh, I'm going to put a a a video, a past video on on this vid on this video so that you can watch it so that you understand what the video is about the 27 year old apartheid water Oka Mary Daniel has acquired an apartment in the Godo area of Lagos states okay then a video went viral you know when God remembers you God always remembers you in life just, just be prayerful and do the good things of God. Definitely God will remember you. God, from your mother's womb, God already knows you. If you're watching this. So don't give up. Don't give up. God is, God, God, God has gotten your back. Okay? So, this lady, then she lied to Nigerians and a lot of things happened then. She lied to Nigerians and... Nigerians donated a lot of money for her. I didn't. I thought they even collected the money, but to my surprise, you know, I think the government didn't, they left the money for her, and she used the money wisely, right? So the Kogi Bond lady disclosed she acquired the new apartment with seventeen point five million. She she is also constructing a pure water factory inside the compound which is nearly finished and you know pure water factory is no beans so she the building by the side is a pure water factory that has the fence little then the main building this is how she bought in a gun too okay daniel stated she received a donation of 25 million after she received it after a story went viral and in this video if you watch it to the end she actually spoke the truth and apologized for lying right but she didn't forgive her she said she has forgiven her father but she's not going back to her father because her father disowned her as per the mom the grandmother that came outside to spoil the whole show now she said that she she will leave her in the village to suffer that she's not bringing her to this new apartment so she will not enjoy because of what she did you know so from the from what the nigerian people gave her the nigerian people government everybody donated 25 million after hearing a story you know and she also said in this video that when she when they got hold of her and was interviewing her that the light just came out from her, her mouth in this video you're going to see her daughter you remember she said she has a daughter she said she has a daughter so in this video you will see a daughter and people rejoicing with her in the house woman and according to her in this in this video also she went she, two of the apartment has been rented out and i think she's living in, in the compound too so two of the apartment has been rented out in this same apartment she's building a pure water factory so she's now a business person and she's now a she's now a landlady in ikondo okay so applied moved 
some Nigerians to support our true donation while Lagos State gov Government also offered a temporary accommodation then. So, Lagos State Government officially dictates lies in her story. She claimed she claimed to have lost her parents in an accident that led to amputation of her leg. You know, in this video, she also spoke, she said she's going to say the truth, that she actually, she, 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 she lost her leg when she had an accident in Casina, if I'm correct, that she had an accident in Casina, and for her to survive, they have to cut the leg not that she got she got the accident with her mom and dad in the in in the you know she said she had an accident in with her parents that her both parents died so which was not true so in this video she really exposed she really opened up and i don't know she was shy, shy to talk and people were like, it's a thing of joy that she should just talk, right? So, I rejoice with her. I rejoice with her. So, this development led to temporary reholding of the 25 million donation. Yeah, which they actually seized the money. She was later handed of. She was later handed over to the leader of igala that's the leader of igala kogi states because she's from igala community in Lagos, to foster the possibility of being vulnerable to fosters the house woman on saturday attracted some family members leaders of igala community in lagos and others which they celebrated with her so this life is just is is i don't know how to quantify this life but this life is very very interesting okay and i rejoice with daniel and the funniest thing is she said because her father did not her father did, was not there for her since uh since she was habitated her father did not there because she cut her leg so she to she did not disown her father her real name she said and her real name in this video right which i will put this short clip i really know she was the one that named herself mary and she said she started living her life on her home and they asked her also some questions like okay that are you are you going to the boyfriend the the father of the sorry the father of the of her daughter that is she going to as the father come you know and is she going to accept the father back and she said no that she's not and they even asked her that is there any suitor coming any attraction from left to right coming that i want to marry you because she's now a rich person right she's now she has ama 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 it or how will i put it she's now rich right and this is the beginning because definitely she's going to need more money to build to actually get to put a pay water factory into order okay and she said that uh that the uh, there are no suitors and she doesn't plan she's not planning to get married okay so maybe in future she might decide to be a single mother taking care of her children taking care of her daughter and enjoying her business okay so i wish her a good i wish her congratulation and i pray god is going to multiply this blessing for her god is going to multiply this blessing for her and you know but then in the video in my previous video about her she actually celebrated her birthday her 27th birthday and nigeria celebrated it with her it was it was marvelous because people really pitied her 
right? People pitied her, but at the end of the day, I think they had mercy upon her. They had mercy upon her, and that's a good thing, which I wish her happiness in this life. Just be open. No need to lie. As a Christian, you don't have to lie about things. Just say it the way it is. Be natural. And one day, God is going to remember you. Upon all the lies and everything, they still release the money to her. And I'm happy she used it wisely. She's not a landlady. She, she will be collecting... She will be collecting, renting apartments now. Eh? At the age of 27. This is so interesting. So, I will leave you to watch the other clip. I will leave you to watch the other clip. So, stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And tell me, what is your plight on this video? Have you have you watched the video? If you watch the video, if, if you don't, if you are new here and you're just seeing this video for the first time, I'm going to put the link of the previous video in this video so you can as well watch it to understand what I'm saying. So I wish Mary Daniel good luck, and I wish you all the best. Stay blessed and God bless you. Bye. So friends, watch this clip and. Tell me, what do you think about this video? Okay, Let's chat in the comment below. Okay, this is um, Mary Daniel's baby girl. Said her name is Success. So, Success. Success. Uh -huh. So, I'll be taking you around the house. This is Mary Daniel's property. She's now a landlord in Lagos, Ikotsun precisely. Um, Igondo precisely. So she already has two tenants staying in the house. This is what it looks like from the side. So Mary, we have shown Nigerians what you use the money to do and I don't know if you have anything to say to them. Is that all you have to say? Yes. Okay. And I will also like to ask you, when you, we interviewed you, you spoke about um, your baby daddy who left you and um, extorted you with the 500,000 you were once gifted. Do we still have him around? Is he trying to come back? Has he made attempts to come back after the money you got from? Mary, talk. No, it's a day of joy. So He's not coming back to you. Okay. All right. So for the benefit of those just joining this live video, I don't know if you can remember sometimes in March when um, Punch newspaper interviewed a Lagos amputee who was hawking pure water and it got the attention of many Nigerians who donated money to her and la now we are live at Mary Daniel's house and she's now a landlord in Lagos Igondo precisely still in that house we have an erected building which she intends to use as a pure water factory and name it Mary Daniel pure water 
sachets water so um this is what it looks like for the benefit of those joining earlier she took us round the factory this is a full view of what the house looks like a full view yeah the first time you spoke you told me that um, you've lost your dad and mom to accident why did you say that Now you are trying to tell us that um, your leg was amputated not because you had an accident with your parents, as you earlier said. My okay. Okay. How? She went to village for burial. My mother came back. She she's not coming back. Here. She want to stay for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. She told the stay headache, headache, that headache. She died. Okay. Okay. But why did you now say that your dad died? Because he's not taking care of me. How? I don't know. He said he don't have a... Uh, because I have one leg in his family. Okay. And I know he's not my father now. Mm. How do you know he's not your father? He disowned me now. I know he's not Was it because of your leg he disowned you? Yeah. Okay, so it, was it that you grew up with your dad and your mom? No. So how was your growing up like? I grew up with my mom's side. Your mom's side? So, what happened between your dad and your mom? Why did you not grow up with your both parents? I don't know, because they say when they... Mm. Karima Bele say my father did not take care of my mother. And then from there is one of my father's brother. Let's take care of my mother too. My mother gave birth to me. And I wish three months. My father said, I want to kill it. My mother like joking matter now. Okay. That this baby is not your own. That take the joke like that. She I reached one year, went and take me from there. My grandmother came and take me from my father's house, not tell him. Take me to Castina. After the accident, they did not tell him. Before cutting the leg, they did not tell him. I stand some time. I grew up, I asked my mother, where is my dad? She said, to forget about that man. Before my mom even died, she said, there's one woman behind my sister's side. There's one that used to call me. The woman used to call me down. I said, that name is not my name. You see, that is the name that used to call me my village. Father Zoma, whether you know my father, she says yes. The Zoma that take me to my father's village. My father has told everything to me. Uh, look at what happened. I should go to my mother's grave. I asked my mother, who is my father? I'm mm. not talk this to you. Okay, talk now. So, um, what name did they say you... Your real name. Your, your real name was then? My real name is Ajamugwa. Okay, so how did you come about Mary yeah. Daniel? Uh, I just had to change my name by myself. I do my own. That's how I give my name, Mary. Because my English name is Blessing. Okay, so I would like to ask you, when you were now being interviewed by the press, why did you come up with those stories you told us? I don't know. They did not come on my mind like that. I just tell it to me. Okay. Okay. So, um, your dad now, have you made any attempt to reconcile with him? Hmm. Even my senior brother, after this thing happens, I've caught them. So I say, use this one to even catch them and go green. Say that I've killed off them money, make up for them. Yeah. One of my senior brother, I won't shoot my senior brother. What's, your, like, what's the name of your senior brother? Um, Daladi. Okay. They saw shoot that one. That one is still in hospital to now, so. Um, put a call for family meeting. Okay. Okay, so, um, but are you ready to accept him as no. your father if, if he comes now? No. Why? Okay, as a Christian, 
do you don't you think it is normal for you to forgive him and move on I with life? Him, no, 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 no. Step. Okay. So uh, moving forward now, are you? Um, when are we looking? When, when when are we expecting you to to get married? Yes. Or is there somebody around? Abby. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Okay. So uh, have you been have you been receiving sweeters lately? Yeah. Have, you been, have people been making attempts? Yeah. Has been reaching out to you? What about your grandmother? After your success story, she came out to say everything you said was a lie. Have you reconciled with her? Have you seen her afterwards? What do you have to yeah. say about that? Because if she did not come out, I would have bring her here. They will stay together. And she likes herself. And I let her be in the village then. Okay, Mary. But if, if she wants to come now, will you? Huh? Come here. Come across here. All right. Okay. So, okay. So, um, what will you do? You have anything to say? Yeah. Um, for the Lagos State Government that, that also facilitated this? No, to thank the Lagos State Government in Lagos for making me to have a house in Lagos here. Yeah? And then thank the Nigeria people for helping me. Okay. Thank you so much, Mary Daniels. So. So, we are still live at Igondo, Mary's Dan uh, Mary Daniel's property in Lagos, Nigeria, as she is now a as she is now a as she is now <laughs> as she <laughs> please hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> As she is now a landlady in Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining us on this live. For updates, kindly follow Punch Newspaper on all social media handles. My name is Ade Bimpe Olajika. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, subscribe, and share.